So uh, it's time for a new vlog. Um, it's currently uh, the 21st of March and uh, on a Monday and um, my lunch break is finished now. I will go back to work, but only for one more hour because after that I will have um, a lactate testing in the lab um, where I want to take you along. I don't know how well uh, I will be able to do that because, um, yeah, there are quite a few restrictions still in uh, hospitals. Um, but I try my best and to give you some insights, uh, which might be really, really interesting for you. And um, yeah, hope I can film a lot and uh, I will show you what I'm up to. Uh, yeah, everything was a little bit hectic now because uh, there was quite a little bit delay uh, in the hospital uh, and I had to get back very fast to uh, continue working. Um, but yeah, it was also a little bit complicated to film because um, yeah, I have to respect their uh, privacy. Well, they didn't care about that I'm getting filmed, but um, yeah, you're not allowed to film any... Um, people in the hospital so um, that was a little bit difficult but um, I hope um, I have a little bit of footage um, here now. Uh, Charles was there as well, a little bit of a coincidence um, and he filmed parts. Uh, I don't know how good it is um, but I'm sure Vera is editing this. She will figure something out that you will have some insights. Um, yeah. About the test, I'm not totally happy with how I felt, but um, usually the test, um, well, the feeling doesn't really matter there. And also it doesn't really matter how much you compete actually, or how far you come in the test, um, because it's only the lactate values which um, are important to me. And they shouldn't be any different if I feel good or if I don't feel good. Uh, I'm very curious to see um, how they are. I will probably get them in the next few days. Um, and yeah, that's important to me to create my training, um, to know how fast I have to run for my threshold. And it's very good for me to have a little evaluation over the years. Uh, I've done this test, I guess they said eight times already. So um, yeah, I do it once a year just to see a little bit um, if I'm progressing or on what areas I have to work on and uh, how to coordinate my training. It's um, a very interesting tool. We take quite a lot of lactate measurements um, on the field, but not in the lab. So the lab will give us a little bit more information. And if what we do on the field is actually true, it's just like really a baseline of having 100% accurate um, values to know if we are not messing it up in training. Uh, I feel now with a little experience that we're doing quite well with it. Um, but yeah, it's always good to double check. Um, and yeah, if you have questions about the test, um, feel free to ask them. Uh, well, the test is actually uh, three minutes and then you will get some... Um, blood measurement on the ear uh, where they take lactate, they check the heart rate. Um, 
And yeah, based on that, they do like a curve on where your threshold is and what sessions you should, could do. Um, and yeah, it gets faster each three minutes. Um, and yeah, I didn't come as far as I came last time, but close to it. So um, I'm curious to see if uh, my values are better or not, even though if I didn't came as far. Because, uh, yeah, as I told you, it doesn't have to reflect uh, your lactate values can be different to how far you came in the test. I'm quite tired from last week's training where I did 135k. So, um, yeah, that might be the cause why I didn't feel so springy or, yeah, because at the end it was quite fast. It's 234 uh, per kilometer. So I ended at 234 per kilometer. So that's quite fast um, on normal in normal shoes on a treadmill. Um, but yeah, let's see how the results um, come out and um, happy that I did it. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit stressful now to get back to uh, to work, but um, everything went well.